This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, everything publicly traded finished higher, led by the major beneficiaries of lower interest rates, small and mid-cap U.S. stocks, and the emerging markets. The S&P 500 rose, marking its fifth positive week out of the past six, and is now up more than 20% in 2024. The markets rallied on the surprise move by the Federal Reserve on Wednesday, which cut rates by a supersized half point, its first cut since 2020. Many were predicting only a 25 basis point cut. The bond market joined the rally, with the yield of the two-year Treasury note dropping under 3.6%, while the 10-year fell to 37 on the week. However, this offers little comfort to the $6 trillion hiding out in money market funds, whose yields have nowhere to go but down as the Fed's rate cuts take effect. The good news is that there is still time to act. Investing is hard, and it's okay to be wrong, but it's not okay to stay wrong. Fed Governor Christopher Waller, the first comments by a member of the Fed since Chair Jerome Powell's press conference, stated on Friday that inflation is coming down faster than he expected, causing him to be in favor of the half-point cut. Investors obviously viewed the aggressive rate cut as a positive catalyst, especially considering the resilience of the economy. Americans are working more and earning more, with private wages and salaries and personal income hitting a record high last month. Of course, retail sales surprised and rose in August. When U.S. consumers are earning, they are spending. Falling gas prices and now falling interest rates effectively act as a tax cut for the global economy. What consumers save on gas or mortgage payments, they'll likely spend on other items, like cars. Auto sales surged in July. This might explain why the Atlanta Fed's GDP Now model boosted its GDP growth forecast for the next quarter from 2.5% to 3%. Needless to say, things look pretty good to me. It's amazing that two weeks ago, we suffered the biggest one-week decline of the year. And here we are with our portfolios at all-time record highs. This is proof, once again, of one of my favorite Bobisms. All market dips in history have been temporary, and new highs are inevitable.